Oh, what the laws that you form, I don't agree. If you don't agree... No, sir. Are you contradicting me? When a military boot crashes his balls, then he will understand. Most of the people who graduated in the 60s, dropouts or half-baked intellectuals, are now occupying the positions of power in the government, civil service, business, mass media, educational system. You are stuck with them. They are contaminated. They are programmed to think and react to certain stimuli in a certain pattern. You cannot change their mind, even if you, if you expose them to authentic information. A person who was demoralized is unable to assess true information. The facts tell nothing to him. Uh, even if I shower him with information, with, with authentic proof, with documents, with pictures, he will refuse to believe it until he, he is going to receive a kick in, the, in his fat bottom. When a military boot crashes his balls, then he will understand. See, culture is a happening thing. Nothing wrong with that. If it's evolving naturally, people making choices, to eat differently, to dress differently, to do things differently, it's perfectly okay. But when your culture is being engineered by commercial forces, having budgets to change your culture, having a strategy to change your culture, when it is so, I think you should also have a strategy not to allow that to happen. The useful idiots, the, the leftists who are idealistically believing in the beauty of Soviet socialist or communist or whatever system. Namaskar, the wire mein aapka swagat hai. Main hoon Arfa Khanam Sherwani. Namaskar, dosto. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This has nothing to do with Shadab Yagunal. Namaskar, mera naam Saurabh Dwedi hai aur. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. To all the four channels, of Peace TV Network. When they get disillusioned, they become the worst enemies. That's why my KGB instructors specifically made the point, never bother with leftists. Forget about these political prostitutes. It's very easy to, to sell sleaze, you understand? And very easily you can catch the youth and make that the culture of the land in no time. One of the reasons, of course, you see, I was in love with India, I mentioned that before, I spoke the languages, I socialized with people, and I understood that I had to, to act fast unless I want this beautiful country to be permanently and irreparably damaged by our presence. In yoga you may have to say certain things like Om and narrate and chant certain things. All these things may lead to shirk. That means you're calling somebody else as the creator besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will forgive any sin, but the sin of shirk will never forgive. Any revolution is a byproduct of a highly organized group. It's a great brainwashing process. In the name of Jesus, angel of children, you talk to you. Yes, glory to this authority. And you talk to you. Oh, 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 this is the name of Jesus. That's the thing, like right? government has no fucking answers, nothing new. Whenever you evaluate patriotism with logic, there's an old Indian uncle who just appears. Well, this whole left or people who think they are left, they're not left. Left means your life is not about yourself, your life is about the community, that's what communism is. Your lifestyle doesn't show that you are left, your attitude towards others does not show you are left. And you said, I'm a left liberal, you're definitely not liberal because only you have the freedom of speech and nobody else has. This is not liberal in my understanding. Is it fair? Those who lost the game will carry the trophy in their head. This is not fair, but right now that's what you're asking. People have elected a certain government. If they pass the laws, you say, no, 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 we should pass the laws. You cannot say that. You can express your opinion, what is wrong with the law. You can vote against it in the parliament or assembly or wherever else, whatever other democratic body you are in. You cannot point out one thing, you just say, no, I don't like it. Well, this is like a domestic situation. These things happen between husband and wife, should not happen between you and me. You say, I will take you to the streets. My right to protest 
you have right to protest for sure, but you have no right to disrupt even one citizen's life. You have no right to block the road, you have no right to block the highway, you have no right to cut off the water or electricity or whatever else that you're doing. You have no right to disrupt anybody's life. You must ask for permission, find an area, sit there and protest. You have no right even to use a microphone and blast it into my home, you have no right. But you have a right to protest in proper platforms. Democratic process has enough platforms where you can protest. You want to do Quit India movement now <laughs> yeah. You want to do non-cooperation movement now, you should have done it in 1936. Time for that is over. This is your country, this is your government. Now you say, no, it's not my government. That is not democratic, I want you to understand. Majority of the people, when they elect a government, even if you don't like them, personally you may not like them, I'm not saying you must like them, but it's your government. It's government of India, government of Tamil Nadu, government of Karnataka, or whatever the state it is. It is not somebody's government. As everybody is referring to these days, it's become fashionable for everybody to say, Modi government. It is not... in my mind, in my heart, it's not Narendra Modi's government. For me, this is India's government. Because it's government of India, I will support the government of India. Are you contradicting me? No, Sergeant! Let me see your Indian war cry, son! It's a great brainwashing process, which goes very slow, and it's divided in, in four basic stages. Uh, the first one being demoralization. It takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation. Why that many years? Because this is the minimum number of years which requires to uh, educate one generation of students in the country of, of, of your enemy, exposed to the ideology of the enemy. There are 9.6 million children studying in the government schools of Tamil Nadu. A few years ago, they passed a law that till they come to ninth standard, you can't fail them. There is no examination. Ninth standard, they can't add two plus two. They're not going to the farm with his father and learning farming or learning carpentry or whatever the trade of the family, but they know how to wear trousers, they're wearing Levi's. They have the attitude of the educated, but absolutely no education. You are breeding a very dangerous group of people. This is the hotbed for crime, for militancy, for terror. If people will fail to grasp the impending danger of that development, nothing ever can help you. I don't care how you dress, what you do, but there are many aspects of culture which are essentially a yogic science implanted into people's lives so that without even knowing you're practicing yoga, you're practicing yoga. This was done thousands of years ago. Like a mother teaches a child to brush his teeth, like that yoga should happen in their homes. To meditate, in other words, to isolate oneself from the current social and political issues of your own country, to get into your own bubble, to forget about troubles of the world. This gentleman, it may look innocent, Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, a great spiritual leader, or maybe a great charlatan and crook, depending on which, from which side you are looking at him. Uh, Beatles were trained at his ashram in Hardwar in India how to meditate. I want you to understand this culture was engineered to gradually lead people towards their spiritual process. Always, right from ancient times, every aspect of your life, how to sit, how to stand, everything was engineered to slowly lead you towards a spiritual process. If you start right now, here, this minute, you start educating new generation, it will still take you 15 to 20 years to turn the tide of, uh, of ideological perception of reality uh, back to normal, no, normalcy and, and uh, patriotism. I want you to understand, most human beings are not choosing, they are being forced to make choices. What is the significance of doing what we have been doing for these thousands of years? This education is definitely needed. Because the education is missing, somebody is trying to educate you on the street with a stick in their hand. Educate yourself, understand what's going on around you. You are not living at a time of peace. You are in a state of war. 
and you have precious little time to save yourself. May kiss goodbye to your freedom, including freedoms to, to homosexuals, to e prison inmate. All this freedom will vanish, evaporate in, in five seconds, including your precious lives. It's wake up. The, the time bomb is ticking with every second. The disaster is coming closer and closer. A very strong national effort to educate people in, in the spirit of real patriotism, number one. Number two, to, to explain them the real danger of socialist, communist, whatever, welfare state, big brother government. And it is very easy to do. No credits, no technology, no money, no political or diplomatic recognition. You don't have much time, especially if you are talking about young generation. There's not much time left for convulsions and sexual masturbation uh, uh, to the beautiful uh, disco music. Very soon it will go, just, just overnight.